Like we say three, six, five, that means your, your body stays lean three, six, five. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have to work out and eat perfect three, yeah. six, five. If Brad and I were on vacation, we would probably have a couple margaritas and lay on the beach too. Yeah. It doesn't mean, yeah. <laughs> Snapchat from Rennet17. Rennet asks, how do you eat healthy on vacation? I've went on multiple trips recently and it's hard to stay living lean. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of goes back to what we just talked about, about eating at the airport and everything. But maybe you're talking about like when you're actually on vacation because that can be a whole nother challenge. Yeah, I think let's answer it from that perspective. All right, let's go with that. So say you're on vacation and you're with like friends or family and everyone wants to like have margaritas mm -hmm. and s'mores and like, I think vacation-y type foods are usually a little like looser. which is probably what you're talking about, why it's hard to stay living lean. Yep. And then also you, the purpose of a vacation is to relax and recuperate. So you don't necessarily want to do the hardest workouts of your life while yep. you're on vacation. So I totally get that perspective. And I think my answer for that is that that's completely okay. Yep. You know, if Brad and I were on vacation, we would probably have a couple margaritas and lay on the beach too. Yep. It doesn't mean, yeah, living lean doesn't mean that you have to work out every single day. Like, like we say three, six, five, that means your your body stays lean three, six, five. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have to work out and eat perfect three, yeah. six, five. So hopefully we're getting across that idea to you guys that you know your entire life is not spent in the gym and the kitchen. You can go on vacation. You can have some bad diet days. You can have some lazy days. But what's important is that you keep coming back to your focus and your mindset exactly. that you've set so strongly. Here's the thing, guys. If you go away on a seven day vacation, you don't work out once, you eat nothing but whatever you want to eat, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you're not living lean. What means you're not living lean is if you come back home and then you start doing the exact same thing that you did on vacation. Then it just gets out of control. Then you're not living lean. Yeah. If you get back home and then you get back to the gym, you get back on eating the right types of foods, you get back to sleeping, then it just happens, guys. It's habits that you're forming. And if you yeah. truly are building this live lean habit, by the time you get home, you can't wait to go yeah. eat a salad. You can't wait to get back in the gym because your body just craves that stuff. Once this becomes a habit with you guys, your body is just gonna be like, I need it. Like, give me the greens, give me the meat. I can't eat another hot dog. I can't eat another potato chip. It's like a switch, it'll turn on. So. Just don't stress over this little vacation, guys. Yeah. It's not worth it. Have fun on your vacation. Yeah. Try to make smarter choices, but you can indulge every once in a while, drink lots of water, and when you get back, just get right back on the track. Yeah. And the stress about worrying that you're not living lean or that you're doing everything wrong is worse for you than the occasional like dirty meals that you're gonna have. So try not to stress out and like keep your mindset strong no matter what. Like he said, it's just you, you're committed to the lifestyle and even though you know that while you're on vacation, everything's not perfect, that you will get back to it. You know, have that trust and that confidence in yourself. Yep, living lean, not about being perfect, it's about making progress. Yes.